and again bright sunshine and a way less stressful experience and during the train then we head back in New York we continued our tour from Philadelphia and headed over to Washington DC for a three night stay Hi folks, Hi. we have arrived at Washington or in Washington and just checked in at the Marquis Merritt Hotel, which is really great. Trade. Yeah, breathtaking, yeah. I would say. I will give you a look around when the, the intro is done. Mm -hmm. This is a 1200 room hotel and it's actually that large that we are looking to the inner court of the hotel. So it's cr crazy. Yeah, crazy but large. it's a great view. Yeah, it's great. Um, cannot wait to explore the hotel, which may take a while. We will make some photos and scenery um, views for you as well, if you want to have a look. And then we are going to explore the city just a bit, so just around the corner to get a feeling for the city itself. Looking out for our most favorite restaurants to um, have a snack in. Yeah, but we found only one yet. Yeah, so we have yeah. to investigate a bit more. And other than that, the train wait was... Um, pretty much as expected. So something that I really miss from the German trains is that we have seat reservations mm -hmm. and that the uh, track itself is way more smoothly than it is here at the Amtrak. So it's really a bumpy ride all over the time. Yeah. And it's a bit nerve-wracking getting your seat because you have not a seat because although you have reserved it. So this is better in Germany, but it's an experience, it's cool. When it was about the arrival itself, we expected something really high-end wow effect like from Washington, which was the complete opposite. So having a look at the train station, so the main train station from the outside is really cool. Cool design, nice view, looks great. From the inside, the arrival zone looked like as if we were driving directly into a vault bunker. Yeah. <laughs> it was completely dark, it was un and everything so there was it was just like a dark hole so we went <laughs> about 100 meter through a re really dark underground thingy and then arrived in the entrance hall which was cool again yeah so this was something we didn't expect for the main main capital city from the usa yeah. but, but the way to the hotel was really beautiful yes yeah. yes the way was really great so these the streets were clean traffic was as expected for a capital city i guess yeah. So as usual in the evenings the gym is waiting for us and I think the really exciting part will start tomorrow with the sightseeing tour mm -hmm. because we have two full days here in, um, in Washington where we can check all the sites and museums and of course we will take you with us as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So far for now, now let's have a look at the hotel yep. and see you later. During our first tour around the block we did not actually see so much, but what we've seen is that the architecture in Washington is just great. Everything looks so impressive, the streets are clean and the greens around all the streets are so well taken care of.
it's the first full day in Washington and we are already one mile in walking. We are going to see the sights, so it should be an easy walk. Um, the weather today is a bit cloudy, so it's the first actual day. I think we have clouds, the temperature is more like in the rainforest. Um, so it's pretty, pretty humid today. <laughs> But other than that, everything is great. We will give you some impressions of the sites we are going to head for. And yeah, so long we're going to sweat. <laughs> so, later. Bye. Hello. We are currently standing in front of the Washington Monument, which you can see in the background here. And the weather is still really, really humid and sticky. It's about 30 degrees Celsius, at least it feels like this. And it's raining every now and then, so it actually feels like being in a rainforest. And for those who can relate better, it is standing like directly in the middle of a Borg ship. I am the Borg.
Our sightseeing tour from the first day included the Congress, the Washington Monument, the World War II Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial. Another thing that we really need to add is how pretty everything is arranged. The park which was built around all the memorials is just so so pretty. And we have met new friends there. An eventful day is going to end. We've just been out in the streets for some dinner and as real cool YouTubers we decided to film outside. Yeah. We also got ourselves a selfie stick to put a camera on to have everything can film. We figured out that we seem to be brand guys because when it comes to eating something it's really a hard time yeah. finding something where we can go to. Because having dinner in local restaurants is a really, really expensive thing over time, especially for a three-week vacation. So we tend to go to the fast food ones. <laughs> um, as Washington seems to be pretty thin when it comes to fast food restaurants, we had a good walk to find one. And the one that we found were pretty crowded, so we didn't even want it to wait there. Our savior for the last two days was Pret a Manger, which is a cool location. If you don't know it, you have to go there. We are not sponsored by them, but wish to. <laughs> yeah. um, so we have eaten there for three times now. It's super fresh, it's great, it's healthy, and yeah, you've seen what we've eaten in the shots before. So really have a look there. This won't be the last time that we've been there. Yeah. Other than that, it was a really, really humid, warm day. Um, you've seen all the sites um, that we have to see in the center area of Washington, which was really great. We loved it. It's super nicely arranged and the city itself is very great structure, which one can expect for a city that is pre-planned. <laughs> the area where all the sites are located is really, really nice. There's a lot of parks and the water and everything. We met some new friends there, which you've seen as well. We would have loved to take some of these grills with us. Yeah. <laughs> they are so, so cute. We went to the gym when we returned uh, back to the hotel. We spent about two or three hours there. I think it was two. Yeah. We both might not be able to move tomorrow. He less than me, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. But we will see what the, the day actually brings for us. Something that we really wished, I must add, is having some more supermarkets in the inner centers of the cities. It was an issue in New York because everything was super expensive until we found a Trader Joe's which was the only market with reasonable prices and we had really, it was a coincidence that we stumbled across it. There was nothing really in Philadelphia but there were enough um, fast food restaurants to get us covered and here in Washington nothing really really uh, nothing and this is something you really miss kind of because in Leipzig or any other German city or capital city whatever um, we have those everywhere so every 100 meter you have a supermarket where you can get everything from bread butter fruits whatever this is something we really would love to have Washington yeah just to have the possibility to eat something in the evening in the hotel room so like bread and butter, cheese and stuff. Um, yeah, other than that, we just go back to the hotel now, we will chill a bit and you can make the end of the vlog. <laughs> Michael said everything. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <Good night. laughs>
It is already pretty late today and it's the final day that we are in Washington. We just finished our late night tour around the city. This is something we always do when we are going to leave a city or mm -hmm. a ship. So we always have a look around and yeah, it's a good buy round, so to say. <laughs> Um, when it comes to the day itself, it was nice and sunny today again, so we had again a quite long walk having a look at the sites. Pretty much the same road actually, but we had a look at a kind of different set of um, yeah, sites that we did not have the time to see yesterday. We made a clip that you have already seen, so you know what we have seen and visited today. And other than that, we had just some dinner, prêt à manger again saved us and we kind of going to miss it because in the coming cities none of these fast food brands seem to be there so a goodbye for this one as well something that we really value for the time that we've been here is that you can pay everything as easy as you can so you can pay with credit card you can cash you can use apple pay this is so mm -hmm. easy here and basically everywhere you can pay as simple um, even at a bakery. This is something we Germans are not as good at still. So there is still a handful of shops where you need a minimum amount of money that you can use your card or even bakeries normally don't accept cards at all. You have to pay cash. So this is something we as, as easy as can be lovers really appreciate for this year. Something on the opposite that we really cannot stand is that people do not seem to wait when the red sign is on so that you are not allowed to walk across the street but they still continue walking over the street. Mm -hmm. This is something we do not have in Germany and yes I know we are Germans obeying rules is some kind of a national sport for us, <laughs> I get this, but especially when you have a family with four children different ages they just walk when it's red. And this is something we really cannot stand because as a parent you should be a role model for your yeah. children and do not teach them to walk or do not disobey the signs. So I get it, in New York it's really crazy. You, if you really obey each of the traffic lines you, you need an hour to walk a mile. But especially in Philadelphia or Washington we did not really expect to see this but it still happens here as well. Mm -hmm. So if you see this and you have children please um, do it right and teach them to stop at the red sign and go at the white sign here, so the walk sign. Yeah, this really drives us nuts when we see it. Yeah, this is something we really want to address as a criticism for this video, I'd say. But enough of this for now. We are going to change for a bed, I think. Tomorrow morning we are going to head out getting our car and drive to Richmond as our next stop. But other than that, we wish you a good night and see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. Bye!